Are you tired and frustrated at your computer? If you've noticed a major slowdown in your system's performance, this is the software for you. C Cleaner is the easy way to clean up and speed up your system. Follow the link in the description below for a full 20% off C Cleaner Professional and speed up your system to light speed today. Hey guys, it's Wisebazito and today I'm going to be showing you the solution I found for the 1050 Ti fan stop issue. First of all, to describe what was happening, when I was rendering a video when I had first built my PC, a few minutes into the render, the PC would shut off with the 1050 Ti stop light flashing. Now I thought this was an issue with the 1050 Ti, however it turned out to be an issue with the Ryzen 5 1500X I installed. Now to fix this issue, I had run a few tests such as OCCT, link in the description, and I had found that when at 100% load, the CPU would fail and shut off the whole system. You should also run some CPU and GPU stress tests such as Fermark, Unigine Heaven, Cinebench, Prime95, and or OCCT to check what the problem is. Links to all of these in the description below. Before using these programs, once especially Prime95 and OCCT, make sure you search up a tutorial on how to use them before attempting to use them blindly, as it could result in a little bit of damage. Now my problem wasn't actually serious at all, and in fact, all I had to do was update the BIOS to the latest version. After the update, the system was 100% fine and I had no problems. All I had to do was go to the ASUS website where I found my motherboard's BIOS update, and all I did was download that and put that on a USB stick and unzip it and then I proceeded to reboot my computer and all I did from there was click the easy BIOS update tool and it, and it searched for the BIOS update on my USB that I had downloaded or it gave me the option to search for the newest BIOS update but I have already downloaded it so that's alright. So if this didn't solve your issue it could be that, that you need to install your drivers correctly for your CPU and GPU and or update them so make sure they're all up to date and they're all ready to go. Also ensure the graphics card is seated correctly into the PCIe slot. Make sure your graphics card is plugged in with external power if needed. It is also worth mentioning installing the graphics card fan control software might help as you are able to control the fan speeds from here. I have a Gigabyte 1050 Ti so I'll leave a link to the Gigabyte Extreme Gaming Edition engine software where you can control fan speeds in the link in the description below. In the BIOS you should also try and put the fan speeds up of both your case fan and your CPU cooler to rule out any driver issues and relate it back to hardware and heat issues. However, it's usually not going to be that. Your CPU should also be checked. Ensure your CPU cooler is firmly making contact with the CPU heatsink and that the fan on the CPU cooler is plugged in and working correctly. You could even try reseat the cooler on the CPU and or reapply new thermal grease to the CPU heatsink. Just for now, turn off or turn down your overclock profiles on your BIOS to keep everything stable. As it could be that your CPU is behaving in an unstable manner due to the overclock profile set to it. This can't be said for everyone, but if you have a spare CPU cooler or can afford another one just for troubleshooting, it may be well worth it in trying to solve the issue. However, this solution is very minute and negligible, so I'd try avoiding this and using it as a very last resort. Also, monitor the temperatures often and try to keep your room, the environment you're in, nice and cool to prevent overheating. Ensure your idle temperatures are stable and not fluctuating. You can do this with HW Monitor, which is free monitoring software for computers, which I'll leave a link to as well in the description below. Adding a spare case fan or buying a new one won't hurt at all. I'll leave a link to a video done by NCIX Tech Tips explaining the best possible route for airflow in your case, as this can keep temperatures nice and cool. A good measure to take as well is to clean out all the dust and the debris from your computer, such as any stuck on your CPU cooler and or graphics card. You can take those out and just clean it with some canned air, or just blow it out with your mouth. It'll be nice and easy and it'll be quick to do. You also want to check that your power supply is enough to supply enough power to your graphics card and or the whole system as a whole, as if it is not, the computer might actually just turn off as it can see the unstable supply from the power supply, 
and as a result the computer shuts down and crashes when on high load. An easy way to do this is just to check the TDP, the power usage of your graphics card and your CPU and just combine that and add it up and see if that's enough for your power supply to handle. If you can, you should also try and swap out your power supply for another one and see if that works. And if it does, that means you can rule out everything out and it should be your unstable power supply and you'll need to get a new one to fix the issue. Make sure everything in your PC is plugged in correctly, the GPU is seated correctly, the CPU is seated correctly, your RAM is seated correctly, and a 24 pin connector and all others are nice and snug. If you're having issues like I was with rendering on Sony Vegas or Adobe Media Encoder, it may help to instead reinstall the programs you're having issues with, as a nice refresh could help all your problems go away. Look out for blue screen stop codes while your computer crashes, for example when you're rendering. These stop codes may actually help you in trying to find a solution for your computer. If you bought your computer from a third party and you're having issues such as this band stop issue, you should probably take it back to them and they should be able to fix the issue or at least assist you. As a last resort, you could reinstall Windows. However, though, I don't think this is really going to help. You could also test the current hardware you have on another computer. However, I do know this isn't an option for everyone. You should also try using memtest86 as it will test your memory for any issues that you're having. This can really rule out some bad issues and you can know if it's serious or not. You should also check that anti-antivirus or anti-malware isn't interfering with your system's performance as sometimes I know that it can hinder system performance and this can be quite bad. However, I do not think this is the case as it wasn't for mine and nothing was interfering. None of the open programs I had were interfering with system performance and in fact it was to do with the BIOS and it needed to be updated. On that note, you should also be scanning for malware and or viruses that could hinder system performance and cause crashes that I was describing before. Now you can do this for Malwarebytes, Avast or any other traditional antivirus or anti-malware tool and this should help your problem. A few good ones are Hitman Pro, Malwarebytes, Symantec Endpoint Protection, Bitdefender Total Security, Avast is a free option and those are a few to name some. CCleaner is also a good option to try as you can clean out your PC and get all the random junk off it and you can fix the registry, delete temporary history and all of that stuff. I've got a little tutorial on how to do it, all of the CCleaner stuff so go and check it out in the description below as well. I will also leave a link to Tom's Hardware Forum showing an in-depth guide on PC troubleshooting, however this one is ma mainly to do with like a BIOS update or a driver issue, but I wanted to go through all the troubleshooting steps and stuff you should do. My own PC specs will be here in the description for reference if need be. Now I hope this video solved your issue and everything is working fine. If the video didn't help, shoot me a comment below and I can see what we can further do to help you solve your issue. Other than that, smash the like button, drop a comment below, subscribe, share the video around to help everyone out, and make sure to have an awesome day. Ever wonder that someone is watching everything you're doing? Because I sure do. But Bazito, what can I do to help my problem? Well don't be silly, a great VPN service could help you out. And speaking of a great VPN, TunnelBear is the easy to use VPN service, which allows you to tunnel to over 14 different countries, with support for desktop, browser, and mobile for all your tunneling needs. It allows you to browse the internet as if you are in the selected country. If this sounds like a very good program to you, click the link in the description below. If you really want to help out the channel, check out Bazito's social media pages. We've recently started streaming and we would really appreciate it if you go ahead and check out our Twitch. We're also on Twitter and Facebook, so make sure you go and check those out. We also have our own website, but however, that does need a little bit of updating and a little bit of a revamp, so we'll get on with that soon. 
We'll also have some new videos such as economics tutorials and so on maybe coming out next year. We'll see how things plan out. And I do apologize for the lack of content this year. I've been really busy and it's been a bit difficult this year to pump out content as I've only received my new gaming PC or video editing PC towards the end of the year and I just really wanted to get around with all the baby steps and troubleshooting all of the little little issues I've had with it. Other than that, check out some of our more recent videos from Bazito and consider checking out our other cool content. There is a lot more to come with Bazito and I'd really like to thank you for sticking with us. I hope you have an awesome and safe Christmas and New Year's break. On half of Bazito, thank you and we'll see you in the next video.